Afghanistan has one of the worst maternal mortality rates in the world. These young women are on a mission to fight that. Access to education has been heavily restricted for Afghan women since the Taliban takeover in 2021. But with some exceptions made for the healthcare sector, this group is determined to keep learning. We come to the hospital and observe patients' conditions closely. We can learn many things during our practice and our theory lessons are going very well too. We are really pleased. Each month, thousands of Afghan women give birth without access to healthcare. Ziza Rahimi is one of those unlucky mothers. It was too hard for me when I lost my baby. As a mother, I nurtured the baby in my womb for nine months, but then I lost him. It's too painful. Miss Rahimi lives in a rural village in Bamiyan's Faladi Valley, where the nearest hospital is a two-hour walk away. When she went into labour, she had no access to transport. There's no vehicle available in our village. I went to my father-in-law's house with my husband. He tried to find a taxi or an ambulance. I called a doctor and told her about my problems. She tried to help, but it was too late, and finally I lost my child. Many of the trainees enrolled in the midwifery course also come from rural villages. They're determined to bring home the information needed to save local women and babies. Even with the new generation of technology, we're still witnessing mothers and children dying due to negligence of some mothers and their lack of knowledge. This situation motivated me to study the midwifery course in order to serve my people. Providing the support and information for safer deliveries. Tom McKinney, ABC News.